What's up BeatStars family, it's Jamil. Today I'm going to show you how to upload tracks on the BeatStars Studio app, available now for iOS and Android. Alright, let's get started. So, right from the opening screen on the app, to begin an upload, you can press this blue plus button. Then we can select track. Now we're in the track metadata editor. Starting at the top, we can select the cover art for our track by tapping on that section. All your previously uploaded image files will appear for you to select from, even those uploaded on the desktop version of the site. Or you can choose to upload a new file from your device. Go ahead and select a source to grab your image from. You can crop your image as well if it's large. Next, you can enter your track title. In this area below, you'll see these yellow alerts letting you know you still have required info to fill out before you can publish your tracks. So let's edit our basic information now. Here you'll select if it's a beat, a beat with hook, song reference, vocals, or a complete song. We'll leave it as beat. Now you'll type in the BPM, the key your track is in, and select a primary genre. These next few sections are optional, but we recommend setting subgenres and a mood to help people discover your music who search by these categories. Really take some time to think about what genres and moods your songs match with, so your beats are shown to the right people who are interested in them. Now you'll have to add three tags. Our advice is use two artist names and a mood or genre. Here you can set an optional description for your track. Lastly in this section is the release date. You can leave this as is if you want it to release right now, or schedule a future time. Now it's time to add our files. We can press this untagged wave or mp3 section to start. Just like with the track artwork, all of our uploaded files from desktop or previous uploads on the app will appear here. Or we can upload a new file. Let's press upload new file. You can pull files stored directly on your phone or through cloud services like Google Drive. I'm going to use this file from my Google Drive as an example. Then we can upload our track stems. I'm going to select one of my previously uploaded files for this. And tagged mp3 for streaming, I'll do the same thing. Now we have all of our files added. Next is licenses and availability. We can mark this track private, exclude it from being included in bulk discounts, or mark it not for sale. Next, we can change the price of each license we have active. Here we can choose what we want to do for free downloads. If we select yes, then we can choose what we want to receive for our free downloads. Our recommendation is offer free downloads with voice tags and capture email so you can get started creating email marketing campaigns. Next section, you'll include any authorized third-party loops and samples you've used on the track. And finally, you can add your collaborators to your tracks if you have any. Just select user, then type in their usernames, and then select their roles and percentages. Lastly, you can add a related video. Now to make the track public, you just select Publish Track. Thank you for watching this video. For more information about the uploading process or to learn more about any of the specific sections and uploading we went over today, watch our full uploading guide linked here. And remember to subscribe to the YouTube channel so you never miss out on any updates from BeatStars.